Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. For more than 40 years, Larry J has been acting his ass off. A producer, director, and artist. With classic movies like Cooley High, Claudine, TV shows like Welcome Back Carter, and who can forget Joe Jackson in The American Dream. Still today, Larry hasn't shown any signs of slowing down. This is a tribute to one of the best actors in Hollywood. That's why they hired us, baby. Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. I'll give you ultimate happiness. At just 20 years old, Larry's first major role was starring as Charles in Claudine, opposite Diane Carroll and James Earl Jones. How's the revolution coming? I told you once, man. My mama cries, it's gonna cost you some blood. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Excuse me. I'm talking to you, man. is better off without me. Shit, man. Get up, man. What can I give her? Nothing. She really miserable, huh? But I'm not exactly singing for joy. You can tell her that. Tell yourself, you son of a bitch. Born September 4th, 1953 in New York, the fifth of nine children, Larry J, as his friends call him, graduated from the High School of Art and Design with a mean pen game in 1971. He learned to draw superheroes and anything else his creative mind and brush would take him. On the small screen, Larry has been on everything from Roots to Roseanne, Moesha to Martin. Yo, Chloe's is so nice. Uh, <coughs> where's, uh, Gina? Uh, she couldn't make it. Yeah, she wasn't feeling very well. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. Because I was so much looking forward to getting to know Gina better. <laughs> the Jamie Foxx Show and the Wayans Brothers. Hey, Molly. What, man? Did you forget everything th th that I taught you? No, I, I mean, what was you doing rubbing your, your hands together? Oh, I was pretending to be cold. It looks like you were putting on lotion. <laughs> but it was his first standout role as Freddie Boom Boom Washington that made him a household name and a hero to black kids across America and around the world. Welcome. At a time where blacks really weren't seen on TV, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs was the first to visit our TV screens every week with Welcome Back Carter. He immediately became a teen heartthrob with his catchphrase. Hi there. <laughs> if I was the prez, there would be equality for everyone I see. Why? Why? You want to know why? Because I believe in change. I think we should change our national anthem, or at least get a better drummer. Oh, yeah. I asked him, did you? Did you ever try to dance to the Star Spangled Banner? <laughs> yes, brothers and sisters, I believe in change. Yeah. You got any ideas for change, you send them to me. You ain't got no change, just send the fool and money. Yeah. I want your thoughts, I want your ideas, but mostly I want your money. <laughs> All this is the class accepted. Hallelujah, boy. On the big screen after Claudine, Larry's next big film was Cooley High, starring alongside his lifelong pal, Glenn Turman. Cooley High, a black film classic which boys to men named their debut album after, with their famous remake of It's So Hard to Say Goodbye. It's So Hard to Say Goodbye was dedicated to Larry's character, Cochise, whose life was cut short after having a promising basketball career. $15 a piece. $15? Baby, that's a whole lot of money. Well, you pretty black fine thing, you you got to pay for what you get. Go on, give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money, man! Under arrest. Well, y'all don't look like no cops to me. That's why they hired us, baby. Because we don't look like cops. Okay, up against this wall here. Move it, bitch. I said up on, against this wall. Come on, 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 Come
getting fucked. I didn't find it. Okay, you bitches are under arrest for prostitution. Mars, go get the squad car. Check, Jackson. Hey, baby, this is my best day. And y'all gonna make us lose a whole lot of money. Oh, baby, you make my heart bleed for you. Look, man, come here. Let me talk to you here. Look, man, I just got out yesterday. See, I... give me a break here. Man, I, I ain't made up yet. Oh, come on now. What do you say? Here, give me a break. Well, uh... Here. We take bribes. How much you want? How about $10? $20? No, he said $10. $10. Here. Shit. Wait a minute. The Lone Ranger. Girl, oh, that's oh, 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 trying to stick us up. Hey, that's what I And who can forget his award-winning performance as Joe Jackson in The Jackson's American Dream, starring opposite Angela Bassett, Terrence Howard, Vanessa Williams, and Billy D. Williams. Fun fact. Larry is the only actor to start opposite two Star Wars legends in different movies. It is useless to resist. Darth Vader. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. How's the revolution coming? And Lando Calrissian. <laughs> How you doing, you old pirate? So good to see you. <laughs> Growing up with the Jacksons, Larry knew the family well, so his portrayal of Joseph hit home with the Jackson family. His portrayal of their father, Joseph, arguably outshined the entire cast. Kanye West even had something to say about it. This is bad, real bad, Michael Jackson. Now I'm mad, real mad, Joe Jackson. I don't understand you. you. Got a beautiful brand new house here. And you want to move? Tito. Tell you what, you've been wanting some camera equipment. All right, you can have the equipment and a space right here made into a dark room for you. You can take pictures, develop them. You can have all the equipment you want. I'll see to that. Only don't marry that girl. Gonna mess up your life. You know, you got girls screaming all over you right now. You get married, and they're gonna look at you different. I don't care. I'm gonna marry Dee Dee. You marry that girl. Is the end of the Jackson Five? No. It doesn't have to be. Dee Dee won't cause trouble. She doesn't want to come in between me and my brothers. She doesn't want to go on tour. She doesn't want nothing but me. All this work. For nothing! You are gonna blow the whole thing. You know, I knew that all the time. I knew that nigga was gonna walk out on you. I knew that. It was your own damn fault. That's right. Don't blame nobody but yourself. You had the six kids. That's right. Six kids. That's right. That's all I got in this world, my children. I hate them. Get away from me, Charles. I mean, I knew I had nothing, but I have to share what I ain't got. You're a damn crybaby. I don't know why you killed me when I was born. Oh, you talk crazier every day. I mean, if you love me, you'd have killed me. Like the women back on those plantations. They killed the kids so wouldn't have to be slaves. I guess I didn't love my children, right? Because I wanted them to live. Yeah. So you told us to be afraid, right? You better be afraid. You better be afraid. That world out there will kill you. I mean, how can frightened people change anything? They ain't no other kind of people, Charles. I'm scared all the time, but I do my job. If you ain't scared, you don't have no need for guts. What you gonna do now? I'm gonna get some sleep, and I'm going to work tomorrow. Well, as you crawl into bed, you take a look at Charlene's tits. Good night, Grandma. Black Hollywood, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. 
Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop us a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to bang that bell for notifications for more content like this. You're watching Mac Vision TV on the Nappy Network.